My, my feeling about being here in the conservatory and working with the students, I think we can't ever forget the fact that the person who I consider the greatest cellist of all time, Pablo Casals, the one that really opened up a whole new world you know, for the cello and none of us would be here if it weren't for him. So for me, that that's always any time I would come to Barcelona or anything uh, in the vicinity, of course, I think about Pablo Casals. And then, of course, there's a whole history here and there's a whole tradition. And so I'm very much aware of that. At the same time, we're talking about today's world and we're talking about the needs of people today. And this is important and the world has changed a lot. And some of the things that have happened are not things that I'm particularly happy about. Require me, use my voice to at least remind young people of the things that I believe are important. I know that people are often telling me, well, yes, the world has changed, but not all changes are good changes. And some things need to be preserved. And we're still talking about the same music. You know, somebody mentioned to me, yes, but the world has changed. And I said, yes, but Schubert has not. And this is important because we're still playing that great music from that time. The music is still the same. And the things that the music means might be for specific people something different today because they have different experiences. But this music is something that should be part of mankind until the end of time because these great works of art are an example of what men or women can do at their best. Shouldn't we be in a place where the form can at least open up a little bit to give it some freedom? Okay, is there something you don't like about that? No, no, it's fine. I think it's more than fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go on. And we're here as musicians. I'm an older one, working with younger ones. I'm here to help them in their quest to find the answers and find what, what's possible here, what they need to do to reveal these things. Because if, if they're here and they're studying, there's a reason for it, because they feel a need to. They have a desire. They have dreams that they want to fulfill. And I consider my uh, role in that situation a very important one, because I'm somebody who has spent his life with that music and with the problems that are involved with pursuing a career in music. It's not an easy life. It's a rewarding life, however. And I feel like maybe I can help. And I feel that whereas the music is written down, and of course for many years now we have recordings and of course there are videos and so forth, there's certain things that are transmitted in the art of music, also from generation to generation. And it's not all contained in what you see, it's contained in human beings. And that means that there is an important aspect of the transmission from one generation to the next. And that's something we should never forget. Mm -hmm.